Will handled everything, all things considered. Uh, all things considered, I, I thought he, he did a good job. Obviously, there was some adversity. Uh, there were some things that were going the wrong way. But, uh, you know, I, I felt like it was big that we went down and scored at the end. Last last drive, we took it down and scored a touchdown. Had a huge conversion on a throw from him to Phillip Brooks. Um, that, that, to me, um, put ourselves back in a situation where we were controlling our, our own destiny rather than the other way around. What's the main thing you're kind of preaching with him? You want to see him do better this week? Uh, I, I just want to see him play with confidence um, and, and believe that the guys around him will make the plays. He doesn't need to force the plays, let the plays come to him and, and believe in the guys around him. Do you feel like when, when Skyler went down, everybody it took a second for everybody to kind of regroup? On uh, actually, I felt like it was uh, uh, I, not beating up on him. He's as good a player as we have, but I felt the fumble um, was really what, what created it, the bigger issue for us because Skyler went down and we still scored a touchdown. The next drive, we went out and scored a touchdown. And then they hammered down a little bit and scored. And instead of us matching it, we fumble on the next play. And, and to me, that's where, where all of a sudden there was, uh, uh-oh, what's going on? Where are we at? Or where, if we would have kept the mindset of, no, 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 since the injury, we actually have scored two touchdowns. I think we'd have been in a lot better position than we were. How, how big is the gap right now between Jaron and, and Will? Um, I, you know, Jaron did a nice job this week and has done a, uh, has continually been getting better. Um, I don't think there's a huge gap, but I think Will is definitely the, the guy that, that is our starter. I don't, I don't think we have a quote quarterback controversy at this point by, by any means. Are you satisfied with what you've gotten out of your offensive line so far, or are you wanting more? Uh, well, I want more. I, I want more. Um, I feel like we've done a nice job from a run game standpoint. Uh, I think we've got to gel a little bit better from a protection standpoint. Uh, we've we've uh, had too much pressure, uh, too many things from a, a passing game standpoint that we've got to we've got to be a little bit better at. And that's not only the O line; it's the tight ends are involved and fullbacks involved with that too when it comes to play action protection. And I think before the season, you guys almost, or at least you were sharing that you envisioned rotating, you know, maybe eight or nine guys in offensive yeah, line. Yeah, not there yet. Yeah. Not there yet. We've we've uh, and, and we're gonna we're gonna keep working hard to get that done. Um, unfortunately. Um, the first game didn't have number of reps that you would have anticipated, so people didn't really need a quote blow. Um, the second game probably was tighter, longer than we had hoped it would be. Um, so we haven't gotten as many guys in as we need to, and, and the season's going to be long. We've, we've got to keep getting more offensive linemen in than just the starting five. Deuce Vaughn had about like 25 carries, I want to say, on Saturday, but you also got some touches for Jacardier and Joe. Um, do you envision those guys maybe getting some more carries? Uh, I think it's a little bit the flow of the game, but but I'm, I'm telling you, the, the running back position, um, I feel like is very strong that e any of them can carry it. Um, I thought Joe ran tremendously hard between the tackles. Uh, I had a had a couple runs uh, in the in the last in the fourth quarter where you said, "Wow, he he's trying to be violent. He's 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 moving the chains," um, and and that's that's really really good to see because he needs to be a guy that can do that for us. How much is the running game your best friend this week? Um, I think every week we kind of go into it thinking that uh, for us to set up some of the stuff we want, the run game's got to be good. Um, this week it's it's going to be no different, but um, I think from the quarterback situation, the run game has to be something we can lean on. I don't think Daniel got any targets, maybe maybe even fewer snaps too in this last game. Was that just part of the, the flow? Just part of the kind of the way the flow of the game uh, unfolded. Um, Definitely had had plays in specifically for him, but for one reason or another, or or how the 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 thing played out, he didn't get the opportunities. But but he'll always have a, a set of plays where his his down the field, his ability to stretch the field will be used. When when you look back last season with uh, with Will, he's had eight touchdown passes, but eleven interceptions. How many of the interceptions have been him forcing it versus how many were just good defensive plays? You know. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't really looked specifically mm -hmm. at that. I know last year in the in the you know, just use a, an example of the West Virginia game, you know, uh, two of the three in that I would have said weren't on him, even though he still gets credit for it. Um, I th I think you know this past week um, he just overthrew the receiver. Um, but he threw, and the crazy part is it was the exact same route combination, just on the other hash. 
the ball that he threw to Landry Weber. It was the same same play. He drove that ball in there really, really well. Landry made a nice catch, contact tackle. Um, same thing coming the other direction, and it just sailed on him. Um, and, and I think timing-wise, he was good. He just got to throw a better ball. Was what Malik did Saturday, is that what we can expect from him when he's healthy? Uh, I think when he's healthy, he's definitely a threat, and not only catching the ball. I think he's a threat carrying the ball as well. And uh, we'll, we'll keep trying to devise ways to get him the football, even if we're not throwing it down the field as much. For first snaps of the season, I think, for Ben Sinnett and Christian Moore, can we probably expect more of that as the um, season? Yeah, I would hope Christian will keep getting some and, and uh, Ben Sinnett will keep getting some. I think th both those guys are younger guys, but um, – you know, Christian's more of a traditional fullback, where Ben's a little bit more of a hybrid, can do both. Um, what you'll see him running down the field a little bit more than, than Christian, but, um, you know, I think both of them need to play and we'll keep getting, getting opportunity. The first drive in the third quarter, you guys ran on darn near every single play. What was the strategy going into that? You know, I think it was more just to settle it down a little bit and, and to, to some of your thought process of, of okay, can we can we rely a little bit on the run game and, and get back to wanting to, to, you know, I think we kept it for over seven minutes. How, how do we keep their offense off the field, but also put it in our mindset of we can run the ball against these guys? Coach Kleinman mentioned on Tuesday that the gap between Will and Jerry Lewis may not be that big. Is, is he getting close to the field? Uh, yeah, I would. I, I, I don't know exactly when or how, but I feel comfortable playing him where when we would have started fall camp, I would have said, Ooh, let's wait, let's hold that a little bit until we see it. Um, but but he's he's done a nice job. I used last night as an example at practice. I felt like he threw it really, really well. Um, and and I have not been disappointed at all in, in Will, but I have been excited about what Jaron's bringing to the table. Not having seen him in action, what does he bring to the table? Well, he's always had two things. Very confident when he's in the huddle, uh, does a good job go handling that, and then he's got live arm. He, he, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's someone that when it comes out of his hand, I think most of the time uh, guys say, wow, that's, that's impressive. Uh, and that's two things that now he's got to get in where the live bullets are going and he truly reads the defense and sees the rotation, sees some of those things happen. Um, obviously, when you play the same defense over and over again, at some point you get a little bit mm -hmm. accustomed to knowing, hey, I, this is how they're going to react, and it's not that way on Saturday, obviously. Do you feel like um, Deuce from a physical standpoint was okay, shoulder in the load that you oh, yeah. on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got to be smart. Obviously, he can't he can't have a million a million carries. But you know, I've told some people uh, um, I've been fortunate to have some really good backs over the years, and not all of them have been two hundred and ten pound tailbacks that still have been able to to carry the load. And and just got to be smart. You can't he can't go out there for a twelve play drive and carry it eight plays. It's just it's not reality for who he is. But. Um, if you spread it out over a four-quarter game, he should be able to handle the load. I was going to ask Sebastian got in last week. How, how far away is he from being to come back to 100%? Um, you know, I don't know if I can put a real number on back to 100%, but I know uh, when you when you watch him practice, when you see him out there on the game field, he's becoming much more comfortable, looks more fluid, looks uh, as running with better speed, um, especially the last week and a half with practice. He's really ran with better speed, and, and that's that's great for us. Who did you guys settle on as the third QB this week? Uh, geez, hopefully we don't get to that. I don't know that we've uh, <laughs> I uh, got that answer. Um, you know, if, it, if push came to shove, uh, we would we would have to look at the, the last two there on our roster and say, okay, how do we make sure we manufacture this thing and and, and don't turn the ball over? What has been last one what has been Will's reaction to Saturday's events? That's most you know, I think I, I think really I, I I've been proud of Will. Will's been through a lot already. Obviously, started a bunch of games last year. Um, I I think he went to work when it when it came on Monday. But I think really he saw everything and watched everything on Sunday. But he came to work when when Monday came, and he's got the same demeanor that he's had uh, the whole time he's been here, which is. He, he is 100% trying to learn and take everything in and put his best product out there when Saturday comes. I think he'll do that. All right, Coach.